Welcome to our final week of our Organic Disciples devotions. We're going to be focusing on organic outreach. Our hope and prayer are that this has been a life-transforming experience of growth in your journey of faith in Jesus and partnership with Jesus in his mission to seek and save those who are still wandering like sheep without a shepherd. Today our question is, how can I join Jesus in fulfilling his great commission of making disciples of all nations. Listen to these words of the resurrected Jesus that he spoke right before ascending back to the glory of heaven. Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. What comfort and hope that gives us to know that we're not on this mission alone. This journey of organic disciples, is, and we've said this again and again, but it's a simple idea of as followers of Jesus, we look to Jesus, we learn from him, then we become more and more like him. We, we try to live the way he lives and we live out these different markers of spiritual growth to be more like Jesus. But then as we live for Jesus, as we walk with Jesus, we then go on mission in partnership with our Savior. And that's the call. That's what organic outreach is. It's naturally sharing the love of Jesus with others. And so here's a few thoughts as you just kind of ponder. Now going from here as I grow up as a disciple, how do I more and more go out with the good news and the grace of Jesus? Here's one thought. Practice hospitality every chance you get. Be hospitable, be gracious, be kind to other people. Open your home, your heart, your life, and show the presence of Jesus. See yourself as light and as salt. These are the images that Jesus gives for us to to understand that we shine the light, the presence, we illuminate that Jesus is here by the way we live our lives. And we become salt. Our very lives should cause people to thirst for the living water that only Jesus can supply. Begin praying, Lord, make my life like salt. Make my life like your light shining in the darkness. Let's be people who show grace. Right now, we are in a graceless, broken world. When we show grace, forgiveness, kindness, it reveals the presence of Jesus. I often say, I I met Jesus long before I met Jesus. But I encountered a few people who were living like Jesus. They showed grace and kindness, and I saw the Savior's presence in those people. Let's be those kind of people. And then finally, tell your story and tell his story. Every chance you get, tell your story of how you came to know Jesus. Tell the story of how Jesus yesterday or last week carried you through a tough time, gave you hope in a hopeless situation, encouraged you when you were down, strengthened you when you needed it. Tell your stories of God's presence and power in your life and then tell his story, that simple story of the gospel, of the love of God, the reality of sin, the work of Jesus on the cross, the salvation he offers to all who will believe and the invitation for all to receive him. We can live out this natural life, this organic life of outreach and that's exactly what God wants. Our prayer is that each one of us will shine the light of Jesus Even as he illuminates our life with his presence, may it reflect from us and bring a light to this world that continues to walk in darkness. And may Jesus be glorified. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, uh, we are so grateful that you gave us your son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. And God, even as we have received your gift, may we spend the rest of our lives sharing with others the gift we have received that is freely offered to each person. And God, open our eyes and and give us eyes that see, um, give us a heart that is your heart and take every opportunity to share um, in word and deed the best news ever, the good news. In Jesus' name, we pray this, amen. Amen.